This movie is about Hassan Ali and his family. Hassan is a pioneer vet of a systems farmer of great technical expertise and excellence. He started some 11 years ago using Vetiver with the help of Menschen F. Menschen, a German based NGO in the Metu area of Alubabur province. Here you see Hassan's farm laid out with Vetiver hedgerows on a quite steep slope. This is what it looked like before he put Vetiver hedgerows in and as you can see it's heavily grazed going all the way down to a drainage line at the bottom of the hill. He cuts his vetiver as you can see on the right and uses that for mulch, thatch and other uses. Here he has some beautiful hedgerows with an area between the hedgerows where he's going to grow forage for his livestock. He is very proud of what he's done and many farmers have followed his example. Here's another example of a very fine hedgerow on an average contour trapping silt and ensuring that runoff doesn't go down the hill but goes into the ground to recharge the groundwater. This is just a reminder to show you how the vetiver system works. In this cross section <coughs> of the two hedgerows you can see the original organic matter which is a dark line just below the surface. Behind each hedge sediment has built up and spread along the hedgerow creating this natural terrace. The water runoff also collects behind this hedgerow and then follows the root system and infiltrates down into the groundwater. This is the basic of the vetiver system. Hassan has made great strides in improving his crop yields using the vetiver system. On average he has increased yields by about 30 percent. Here you can see uh, a hedgerow that he has actually dug up part of it to sell to other farmers. He gets about 10 cents a clump. another close-up of this cut hedgerow. Notice how dense the hedgerow is. These clumps just stop everything from growing through it. He says that at the bottom of his farm there is no water running off at all. Here's another view of another hedgerow. Nicely cut and grazed. Here you can see the roots going deep down in the soil. Even where he may have lost a bit of uh, clump because he's cut it, it uh, uh, doesn't affect uh, erosion. Here you can see a bed of a hedgerow in his coffee. He says the coffee flushes longer in the dry season and he's getting yield increases of 20 to 30 percent. This is pretty good. And his farmers, neighboring farmers, are emulating the process. You can see here. Uh, vetiver under the shade of the coffee. It doesn't grow quite so well but it's still not bad. Here he's growing bananas. He takes advantage of the uh, impact of vetiver on the nematodes of the bana uh, that affect the bananas in getting better yields. Now uh, here he has helped his brother establish vetiver on his brother's farm and you can see these lovely vetiver hedgerows on quite steep slopes, maybe 15-20%, stopping erosion and conserving uh, runoff. You can see over on the far side of the valley more vetiver hedgerows and more here. He reckons he's helped over 70 farmers establish new vetiver hedgerows on their farms and the impact is very significant on crop yield and groundwater recharge. This farmer certainly knows what he does and other farmers like to copy him. Copy him. The soils here are 
red volcanic soils with a basalt base. Well treated, they produce very good crop yields. I'm really impressed by what we saw here. And so are the farmers and the staff of Slough and others who are helping. ምንም <laughs> እሺ በእውነቱ እንግዲህ ያው እኛ በእንጨ ባለናቀም እኛ ገበሬ ያው ባሆኑ እጥላይ ለምድል ውጥ ያደረገ ነው ያለ እኛ ወደ ሌላገር ሌላው ወደዚህ የመጣ ነው ያለ ሌላው ቀርቶ በገበሬ አማካይነት በለምድል ውጥ ሊራባ ይችላል ነው መጥቶን እየሰራውት ሌላው ሳይ እንደ ነው ሰጥቶ ለማግኘት ይችላል ለመስራት ይችላል እኛ ደግሞ ባለናቀም ደግሞ በአካባቢያችን ላሉ ላላ ወቁ ሰው ይማሳወቅና ጥቅሙ መንገር ነው ሌላ መስፋፋት የለው Uh, he'd uh, thatched this with vetiver uh, only three months ago. You can see it's quite new, and he's very happy with the thatch. Uh, some of his older houses he thatched up to 11 years ago, and the vetiver has stayed in very good condition. The more thatch you put on, the longer it'll last, and it's far, far better than the local 